What is happening guys, Kadi Plays here bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and in today's video I'm finally going to be bringing you guys another top 10 budget list for the current format. I did one of these videos about 2-3 months ago and it was it's honestly been one of the you know, most successful videos I've ever done on my channel. So I thought I should definitely do another one of these now that we have Sprite in the game and the need for budget decks are at an all time high with how expensive um, you know, new selection pack decks like have been you know becoming over the past few months. Uh, Sprite is ridiculously expensive. You know, all things considered, Runic was very very expensive. So, yep. Um, speaking of Runic, there's Runic. Um, didn't mean to do that. My bad, guys. Um, but anyways, uh, I want to talk about something really quickly before I jump into this budget tier list. Or not budget tier list. Top ten budget decks of the format. I posted eight hours ago today. I posted this little, this made this little post on the channel that I'm trying to come up with a good parameter for what budget means in Master Duel because there's not really a consensus about budget. Like in the TCG, you can easily say like, "Oh, I got a hundred dollar budget," and you can build a deck with those parameters. In Master Duel, it's difficult because there's a lot of luck that comes into play when pulling from packs and gems. And like gems are not infinite, well they technically are, but they're not really infinite in like a given season. In a given season, you can really go only get so many gems. In a given format, you can really only get so much gems. Same thing with URCP, unless you're spending physical money to do so. Um, so how do we define budget? Well, that's what I've been having a trouble, like a lot of trouble doing. And here's the different options that I listed on this poll. And thank you guys to all of you that voted. Uh, I really appreciate it. But sadly, I can't go with what you guys voted for. All day long, not all day long, for about an hour, hour and a half, I was really trying to figure out how to come up with making complete decks, including generic staples, so a complete 40 card deck for 500 or less URCP. I was having a lot of trouble doing that, and what I was running into was I was really only able to do it with decks that didn't play a lot of like non-engine cards, so decks that like don't play hand traps or don't play going second cards that just play like just engine or decks that have like a structure deck. And I didn't want to just have those on here because that's not like really in the spirit of competitiveness. I didn't want to have Runic, Flunderies, Eldlich, XYZ, other stun deck, Umi Control. I didn't want to just have a bunch of like stun decks that don't play like hand traps because all the hand traps are URs. Because that didn't, just didn't seem fair to, you know, a truly competitive list, right? Those decks are very good budget options. Like, all the different stun decks that just play, like, stun cards and no hand traps are great budget options. Because, for whatever reason, Konami made hand traps incredibly expensive in this game. Or they made floodgates incredibly cheap. That's kind of a problem, if you ask me. But it's how they did it, right? So, for the sake of this video... I decided to do this number three option here, the one that came in second place, which was actually my personal favorite going into this, and that's deck engine, everything but generic staple cards for 300 or less URCP. So that's the parameters we're going to be basing this ranking off of. Um, so yeah, I hope it doesn't disappoint too many of you guys. I know this top option did win, and I, I apologize for that, that. I'm not able to do it. Maybe in the future I'll be able to come up with something. Maybe we bump this up to 600 and we can work something out, but... I decided to just go with this everything but generic staples for 300 or less and uh, I think it's worked out pretty well. So without further ado, let's jump right on in to the first thing. This is just some, you know, I wanted to like just highlight this. These are UR staples. Valor, Maxi, Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, Bell, Mourner, Shifter, Nib. Like these are cards that like get played in almost every deck and they're all URs. So that's just that's why it's so difficult to make a budget deck for un, quote unquote budget deck for under 500 C URCP. So I just wanted to highlight that and just get that reasoning out there. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this. I actually have one honorable mention and I just showed it on screen a second ago. That's Runic. I don't think this is a budget deck. So don't get mad at me for saying that. However, I think this needs to be mentioned. For 300 URCP and 360 SRCP, you can get the entire Runic Core, which is an incredibly splashable and highly competitive engine in the current format. 
arguably Runic is a part of the best deck in the game. Runic Sprite. You know, some people say Pure Sprite's the best. Some people say Runic Sprite's the best. Some people say it's about even, like, that's me. I think they're about even. But there's a lot of people that think Runic Sprite is clearly the best deck in the game. You can get the entire Runic Engine for 300 URCP. You can also get the entire Runic Engine and just play the stun version for about 300 URCP. Not very much more, because you can just play a bunch of stun cards that don't cost anything. Right? So, honorable mention here. The reason it's not on the actual list is because the selection pack that Runic is in is no longer in the shop. So you have to craft these cards or get really lucky pulling them from Master Packs. So, for that reason, I don't think it can be in the top 10 list but I do think it deserves an honorable mention. So moving on to the actual top 10 list, with the number 10 slot, we have Zombies. So I'm so glad I was able to add this on the list because I really, really love this deck. It is one of the coolest decks in the game. Like, honestly, it's awesome. And it just has, it's got a pretty new structure deck. So it's nice because it's not that expensive. So for 1,500 gems, 180 URCP, I'll highlight those in a second, and 210 SRCP, you can have a, you know the deck that's on screen now. Now, this is not a perfect deck by any means. There's no hand traps in this. It's 29 cards. It's missing some stuff, of course. But it's very, very cheap, right? It's a really good framework as well. This is also not the most competitive deck in the game. I'll go ahead and put that out there. But it can beat anything. It can. It can compete. And it's a very splashable deck. You can play with a lot of different things. You can play with punk cards. You can play it with, um, I'm blanking, Eldritch cards. You can play with Despia, the branded cards. You can play with a lot of different things, and you can see success with this. It's also very, very fun to play. So don't sleep on zombies. The URs that you would theoretically need to craft or pull are Doom King. I recommend two of them, but you can get away with one to three. Really, pretty much whatever number you want. I like the sweet spot of two. Uh, Super Poly, I think this is mandatory in zombie decks. Rivalry, I think this is also mandatory in zombie decks. Uh, it's, you know, why would you not play this card, right? Like, it's so good in general, and it's also so good with Zombie World, just like how Super Poly is amazing with Zombie World. Then just the Super Poly targets down here, really great options. Uh, all these are in the structure decks, so you don't have to worry about those. Then the Zombie Vampire, All Mirage, Vampire Sucker, and Vampire Fascinator, I think are just great, you know, generic cards for the zombie archetypes. That is my number 10 spot. Hopefully, um, I encourage people to play Zombies, because this deck is sick. The next deck, the number 9 spot, is everybody's favorite, Birds, the Flunder Fluwunderies. Oh boy. I genuinely, like, genuinely despise this deck, but you can't deny the fact that it's incredibly cheap and pretty solid. It's not the best deck in the game since Barrier Statue's been banned, but it's still highly competitive. It can still compete with anything in the metagame. And, yeah, I mean, it's just a great option. And for 180 URCP and 450 SRCP, this toxic abomination of a deck can be yours. Please don't play this deck. I hate it. But, you know, it's a great budget option. It really is. The biggest downside to this is the fact that the selection packs are no longer in the shop, so you have to craft these cards. But it's so cheap, it's really not that big of a deal, right? So... Moving on to the number, yes, number eight spot, we have Pendulum Magicians. So this is another quote-unquote structure deck deck, but it's way more expensive, in my opinion, than Zombies, because the structure deck does not get you nearly enough of what you need to play the actual competitive version of Pendulum Magicians. It's really weird how they did the structure deck, like, because there's so many different Pendulum archetypes that all kind of go together. The structure deck only covers part of it. But anyways, for 1,500 gems... 240 URCP and 390 UR, or SRCP, you can get this 38 card main deck and 11 card extra deck. Which this is basically just like, you know, a, it's pretty much ready to play out of the box, right? Like you can just throw two random cards in here and just play the game. You don't need any hand traps, you don't really need anything for a deck like this because it doesn't function very well when you draw like multiple hand traps. So a lot of times people only play 3 max C and that's pretty much it. Maybe a few Ash Blossoms, whatever. But you should be good to go, right? Um, you're going to need to pull for cards like Luster, the Black Fang, the Double Iris, the Purple Poison, uh, the Performer Pal Celestial Magician, the Sorcerers, 
what else? Some of the extra deck cards like the Venom, the Ignister, the Baron. I put Baron, Selene, and Appalooza all in here because I think these are mandatory for the deck, especially Baron, because your main combo just puts Baron on the board, and honestly, Appalooza, but whatever. Like, if you don't have these cards, it's okay, you can play without them, but I highly recommend them, and I wouldn't play the deck without them personally, but you're going to need to craft that stuff, you're going to need to get the Electromite, the Beyond the Pendulum, sadly that stuff's not in the Structure deck, but uh, the Structure deck really does help. It gets you your Sorcerers, and it gets you a lot of just random SRs, you know, for very cheap. It gets you this UR down here, which is nice. So it gets, really gets you four URs for 1,500 gems, which is a great bargain, in all seriousness. So, really can't go wrong with this. Uh, highly recommend it, and it's our number eight best deck on this budget list. Number seven is Punk. This is a brand new, a brand new deck. This is one of the newer decks in the game. It just came out, like officially came out in the last pack. Uh, well, not officially. We have all the Punk support as of the last pack, I guess I should say. Where we got Deer Note, the uh, Punk Jam Extreme Session. We got Psychic and Punisher. We got the not this card, but we got this, the Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Um, yeah, this deck's awesome. This deck's wonderful. And you can get this entire core you see on screen here for 300 URCP and 420. A 420. Um, yeah. I'm sorry I just said that. Please, please don't stop watching this video because I just said that. I know I probably would if I was you, but please don't. Um, yeah, so you can get the whole deck for 300 UR and 420 SRCP, uh, respectively. Uh, and there's just a lot of flexibility here, right? I added the Ghost Ogre in because I think this is mandatory because the generic combo. I hope you can't hear that motorcycle. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, people suck in downtown, but this is what it is. Um, the Ghost Ogre, I think this is mandatory for the combo, you know, or it's just the generic combo searches it with the Jam Dragon Drive, so I highly recommend just picking up one copy of this to play in it. You can definitely get away with playing more because this is a wonderful hand trap right now, but I think one's just mandatory. Uh, but other than that, yeah, nothing much, much, not too much else to say. Like, this is inc incredibly competent, like, deck as a standalone deck. Like, Punk by itself is great. You know, Punk splashed in with Tri Brigade's great. Punk splashed in with Phantom Knights is great. Uh, splashing with D-Link, um, Baryons, Zombies. Honestly, we talked about Zombies earlier. You can play this with Zombies. You can play Punk with so many different things, and it's really, really good. So, could not recommend this deck more. For the number six spot, we have Sky Striker. Um, this is a surprisingly cheap deck. Someone asked me in the last like budget video if Sky Striker was a like a budget deck, and I just like left it off the list because I didn't even think about this deck being budget, but it is. It's really, really cheap. The entire core deck only takes 270 URCP and 320 SR. And that gets you your engages, that gets you your linkages, which wasn't even a thing when I made the last video, so it was even cheaper then, and I didn't even acknowledge it. It gets you your Kagaris, and it gets you all your extra deck stuff. Like, this is literally a 15-card extra deck here. It's a complete extra deck. Like, this is ready to go, like, straight out the box. You really can't go wrong with something like this. And it's, it's very splashable, like a lot of these other decks are. You can pair it with Runic. You can pair it with the Adventure cards. Excuse me. You can pair it with just so many different things you can pair with orchest um yeah it, it's wonderful moving on to the next deck we have the number five spot and this one kind of depresses me but i think it kind of has to be here i don't think it could be higher because it's not that good anymore but i don't think it can be lower because of how cheap it is and you probably already know what i'm talking about it's eldritch now this is debatable whether this should be above flunder or not. Like, I think you can make the argument that either Flu or here should be, like, well, I guess theoretically you can make the argument that Flu and Eldritch should be around the same place. So maybe I did this list a little bit wrong, but now screw it. I'm going to stick with my gut intuition. I think this is the fifth best budget deck in the game, because it's toxic as hell. Like, it's it's it's, it's so good against everything that's not named runic it just it it's just so good against everything that's not runic and it's so cheap it's just so toxic and so cheap and it sucks that it's like that but it is i don't really know what else to say other than the fact that it takes 150 urcp 
and 420 i did it again 420 you srcp to get this incredibly toxic very competent like you know ready to go deck that can literally beat anything it's also incredibly splashable you can play you can play non floodgate versions well you can play like a more pure zombie version like eldritch zombies you can play branded eldritch you can play you know branded invoked you can play branded zodiac you can play branded punk you can play so many different things so many different variations of this deck that just like makes it one of the best splashable engines and one of the best overall decks in the game for budget so i don't think you can really go wrong with this deck i just threw some random cards down here like these really you can literally just take those out like who cares about the extra deck just play 15 random cards that you banish off pot of extravagance and you're good to go Anyways, moving on to the top four. Now, the fourth place deck is a deck that I wanted to put higher, but I really didn't feel like I could because the top three just seemed so good. Uh, but fourth place is Tri Brigade. So, Tri Brigade, I think this has to be on any list, any budget list, because it's so freaking cheap, man. Like, look at this extra deck. This is literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cards. This is basically a complete extra deck. And the entire core main deck for Tri Brigade coming out to 240 UR and 150 SR. Not to mention a bunch of these cards, like the Shregs, all the Tri Brigade stuff. Literally all of these Tri Brigade stuff is in one pack. So you shouldn't theoretically need to craft that stuff. Just, you know, spend 5,000 gems and just pull it, right? It shouldn't be that bad. It should be pretty consistent. And this, this engine, like I, I've talked about this pretty much with all of them, but it's so incredibly splashable. You can play it with Punk cards, you can play it with Leerlust cards, you can play it with Zodiac, Glad Beast, um, Lunalite, those two aren't that good, but you can definitely do it. And you can play it with Sprite, in my opinion, this is it, Sprite Tri Brigade is the fourth best deck in the game currently, that's you know, my opinion, a lot of people don't think so, but I think it is, and I think it's only going to get better from here. But you really can't go wrong with a deck like this, to be honest. And it's one of, it's going to continue to be relevant in Yu-Gi-Oh! for forever I, probably not forever but it, it just it feels like it will be because it was forever it was it was relevant for so long in ocg and it was relevant for so long in tcg and now it's back because of sprite and it's been relevant from day one of master duel all the way up until now so really can't go wrong with tri brigade couldn't recommend it more except for these other three decks so the number three place we have adding mister so adding mister is arguably one of the best okay so we haven't got to the top two decks yet but up until this point i would say that this is arguably the best standalone deck on this list so far and that's why it's ranking so high because it's a little bit more expensive you're look, probably looking here and like oh wait a minute that's 360 you said 300 you're right but this is not actually 360 it's seven not 700 i cannot read it is 240 <laughs> I don't know where I got seven. It's 240 URCP and 390 SRCP. You're probably like, okay, well, how do you get to 300 URCP? Well, that's because a structure deck contains Heat Soul and Sinet Mining. You can buy the Salamane Great Structure Deck times three for 1,500 gems total, 500 to pop, and you can get all your Sinet Minings and your Heat Soul for basically nothing. Basically logging into the game like once. For the first time you got it and that brings this deck out to very cheap and very efficient and a very good strategy i really don't know what to say other than that like this deck's absolutely amazing it's one of the best decks in the game and it's very cheap 1500 gems 240 urcp and 390 sr get you this entire thing and you're ready to go not to mention i should mention this it's got the math met cards in here technically you can cut these and all of a sudden it's even cheaper right but i wouldn't recommend that I do think the math met cards make the Agnista strategy way better. So definitely recommend just investing in the circulars and the um, the Allen version down here. It'll be a good investment. It'll serve you well. You can play math mech, which is, of course, the number two deck on this list. Where How could it not be? Like This deck is so incredibly cheap. Same rule applies. You can buy those three salad structure decks to get the side of minings to get the heat soul and have a lot of your pesky urs already out of the way and then look at this main deck rare sr rare rare ur eh, whatever normal 
you are, but it's literally free from the structure deck, basically. Normal, SR, normal. Wow, so cheap and efficient. That's crazy. Konami really did a great thing with that salad structure deck. It just makes all these different cyber, cyber decks so accessible to everybody, which is wonderful. Down here, this is literally a 15 card extra deck. Like, what more could you ask for? Complete 15 card extra deck, complete basically math mech core. This is 24 cards. This is all the math mech cards you're ever going to need for a total of 270 URCP and 300 SRCP. This is slightly more expensive URCP wise than Attic Nestor is. However, I think that pure math mech is better than Attic Nestor, just slightly. So, I think spending the extra 30 is definitely worth it. <clears throat> but now, moving on to the final budget deck for this video. If you guys watched the last video, you already know what this is because it's not changing. If you played Master Duel at all pretty much in the past few months, you know what deck this is. Uh, it got a structure deck, and uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what to say. Like, Dark Magician is the number one budget deck in Master Duel. Just kidding. It's salad. So, clearly it's salad. Like, what else could it be? This deck is literally dirt cheap. Like, this deck, on screen now, 23 cards for this core, this entire 15 card extra deck, cost 1,500 gems, 150 SR CP, and 30 URCP. 30. One. One UR is all you need to craft for this deck. That's it. What? How does that happen? It's because Konami released the best structure deck possible. Literally every single one of these cards in the main deck, all 23 cards, are in the structure deck. In the extra deck down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of the 15 cards in the extra deck come out of the structure deck. For whatever reason, Mirage Daily is not in the structure deck, which seems like an oversight to me. It's not, and that's okay. It's, at least it's not a UR, right? It's just an SR. But eight cards in the extra deck, and every single one of these cards in the main deck comes out of the structure deck. It's insane. You can literally make a new account, log on, play for 20 minutes, get some gems, buy three structure decks, go on the ladder, and just play. That's all you need to do. You can get Diamond 1 with this deck easy. Like, it's insane. And it's so good. And I, I give Konami so many props for making this deck so accessible. But I've also, like, kind of frustrates me because I wish they would do it with other decks, too. <laughs> but they're doing a really good job with these structure decks overall. This has definitely been the biggest hit. Zombies are okay. You know, Pendulum Magician, that kind of has a crappy structure deck, let's be honest here. The Dark Magician stuff's okay. I mean, Dark Magician's nowhere near as good as, like, Salaman Great. But, like, you know, that structure deck's okay. You get some good cards. You get, like, Magician of Souls, Illusion of Chaos. Those are wonderful cards. The deck's not great, though. That's the biggest problem. But, but anyways, Salad is clearly the cream of the crop when it comes to budget decks in Master Duel. Um, I actually lost to it today in a tournament. Um, yeah, I lost to Salad today. The guy opened so good. He opened, he opened full combo and then hard drew Roar. So he had Rage... Roar, Imperm, and full salad combo. And I just, just couldn't beat it. But anyways, enough rambling about stuff you guys don't care about. That is going to do it for the budget video list for today. The top 10 budget decks of the current format. And one honorable mention, being Runic. Don't build Runic, please. That deck's so toxic. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in this video. Um, let me know in the comment section below what I got wrong. I have no doubt you guys will all let me know what I got wrong, and I can't wait to hear it and tell you why you're wrong. Um, also, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what decks I left off this list, what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, any suggestions for how I should do this like budget format in the future, because it really seems unfair that Salad is like clearly always going to be number one unless they release a new like structure deck. But you know, like what can you do? Like this deck's literally dirt cheap, right? So, anyways, comment down below what you think. Uh, without further ado, that'll be it for me. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.